your masculine might seem like he's avoiding you and in this reading you are called to make a new choice that will affect him as well being your twin flame hello sweet listeners welcome back to another reading let's dive right into this situation where he has to make a choice and seems to be in a crossroad today's card deck is divine abundance oracle cards by tosha silva the cards are already pre-shuffled the first question i have asked is about the masculine where are they at and what is their situation the first card i received is individuality so individuality as you can see is a identity crisis that the masculine is going through and it looks like they are a bit confused on what is going on that is why they might seem avoidant or they are looking like they are moving away from you or they are not giving you enough attention it is because whenever they're coming close to you they're actually becoming very sensitive to the oneness very sensitive to the oneness and they are able to identify the oneness and what is happening is that they are questioning their individuality everything they knew about themselves is changing they are not able to understand what this change is and why this change is happening they they believed that they are this separate person they had a false ego identity so they are having a bit of a identity crisis on who they are are when they come close to you that is getting triggered so this is nothing to worry about because they are your twin flame there will be solutions provided towards the end of the card do leave a like and a heart so that i can channel better in this reading to help you align to this i can channel to your energy better when you are connected and leaving a like it helps me channel better and connect to you better because your presence is available there and you can also help yourself claim this reading by leaving a like getting back to the reading where the masculine is sort of stubborn also because they don't want to let go of their false identity let's see the next card corresponding to this particular feeling they are holding on to that trust they are not able to trust also that this huge feeling they are feeling towards you this huge feeling they are feeling towards you they're not able to believe it the truth they are a little skeptical and they are not able to trust the universe what is the universe showing to them they are still holding on to their old identity a bit if you make a minor switch as a feminine it will all get sorted the card reading will complete that and say that in the end so one more message for the feminine is that how to build trust with your masculine i will explain that when i'm picking the cards for the feminine so just building trust with your masculine is very very important and yes the next card i received for the masculine is karma so there is nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life so there you go there is karma also in play that is looks like the masculine's physical aspects that is maybe their family or a third party or their job or their financial conditions maybe debts to be healed so these are the things holding them back and but they do identify that there is something very real with you they are very sensitive towards it they are just standing at the bank of the water and thinking 
should i walk into this or should i not so all these things are holding them back the cards are giving guidance here on what the factors that is holding your masculine back from making that choice of moving forward with you so as we read the solutions will come by towards the end of the card reading and this these are the things which are holding them back and grief yes grief is also holding them back where tears are what happens when the ice in the heart melts looks like they have also been pretty cold towards you so it is because you know for a man it is hard to cry and express so their way of processing grief or suppressing grief often is masculine suppress grief by making their heart very cold so they are in this sort of a situation but they identify and feel deeply towards you they are awakening towards you and they understand who you are okay so this is why they are able to feel these things otherwise they were even numbed out to it they are questioning who they are they are questioning oh my god am i one with her why do i feel so different whatever i have believed is it all wrong is it right they are getting clear on that and of course as a feminine you can help them build trust uh which i will explain how later and the last card for your masculine that is showing is divine love when you offer everything to the divine with detachment you begin a love affair with the spirit beautiful so this is a message for both the masculine and the feminine and there is an image here with a man with a wide open arm with wings on him which means your masculine at a spirit level at an emotional level is ready to break free from his old identity and understand that you and they are one you both are twin flames you are one being they are ready to understand this truth they are ready to break free and have a love affair with the spirit that is they are ready to have a love affair with you their spirit is you your spirit is them so it is time to have your divine love affair with your masculine opening your arms wide their arms wide the man is ready for this that is why they are standing at the bank thinking to move forward or isolate it is a very crossroad so as a feminine especially because they are your twin flame you can help them make a new choice here and help them by let's see what the next card says the next card is for the feminine it is the choice the card is showing the choice that you have to make so that this choice this particular choice will help your man move forward and take that step towards you and take that step towards having a love affair with his spirit which is you having a love affair with you so the card i received for the feminine is self love there you go no surprise self love let the wall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child i long to take care of myself like never before so yes it looks like the feminines have been focusing a lot on self love and it is about going even more deeper even more vulnerable into self love self love has no end so choose to go deeper choose to love yourself deeper love your heart up so deep that 
the grief melts in both your heart you can help your masculine's grief melt and make their heart soft by loving the core center of your heart and how you can build trust is by healing where the more you heal the more your masculine will be able to trust you and do not bring in expectations in the relationship they are like this wounded individual trying to figure out they have a lot of mess they are cleaning up especially the karma card came for them earlier so they are cleaning up their own mess and they are healing their grief and they are confused with their personality right now they are not able to understand what is really going on to them but huge changes are happening to them so during this time you holding space for them in trust is what is going to really just pull them forward that is not by asking them when are you going to commit to me when are you going to do this to me or when are you going to take me for a date or when are you going to meet me instead just holding space imagine it is a wounded inner child and holding a lot of compassion for them and asking them okay so how can i support you today is it by being a friend to them it is like slowly building trust as they are healing trauma at some level as i can see here your masculine and getting close to their own soul when they get close to their own soul they are getting very close to you so just giving them that space so that they can trust and trust me if you build trust here with them you are the only human being they are going to trust in this whole wide universe that's the energy that i'm seeing here this is a very powerful shift and you feminine have the power to make that change so the next card is loss something you learn truly offering through loss you make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the egos aha how beautiful allow love's plan to work out don't hold ego or oh, let go of the ego let go of the that that's where you're going to help them understand who their true self is who their love self is right where if you thought that you're going to get married to him or have children with him maybe love is asking you to just be friends with him right now and hold space for him so that he can trust you and commit to you for eternity so just letting go of your idea of how the relationship should look like and simply asking in your heart okay dear love in my heart how should i love my man today right however they or maybe it's just that staying silent on a call with them uh just holding space for them probably so just asking love in your heart how should i love my man today and also how should i love myself today so keep the self love going that is the key and that is the magic then intuition each person's road to the inner lord is extraordinary and personal how liberating to listen inside and the sense moment to moment what's needed beautiful so intuition following your heart following your feelings staying open to your feelings not shutting down to your feelings will really help you move through this situation and you are not alone here i see a lot of support from the universe from divine from your spirit guides because this is a huge shift so the next card is inner power yes dear feminines claim your inner power you have the power to create your reality your choice can change everything because you and your twin flame are one at the core so make a choice in power that i choose my union i choose my twin flame i choose myself and i choose our love i choose 
us. This is a very strong choice you can make with me right now as I explained earlier. So yes, give the courage and the power to do what must be done. Uh, call in a lot of divine support in your heart and claim your power and know that your choice, your core choice is your twin flame's core choice. So if you choose to move forward, they will move forward with you. If you choose union, they will choose union with you. So come into your power and your inner work, your self-love is one of your core powers. Continue doing your inner work, your mirror exercise. That is what is also showing because that will keep helping you come back into your power and acceptance. Radical acceptance in the now opens the flow. So yes, this might seem like, oh, I am doing all the job, I am doing everything. But just accepting the situation as it is, accepting yours and your masculine situation as it is instead of expectations instead of holding on to your own ideas acceptance will bring in a lot of flow do you want to come into union fast do you want a relationship a deep vulnerable relationship with your divine masculine then acceptance of the current situation will help bring a lot of flow in your life, in your relationship. And love, the next card, that is divine source is the idea that no person, place or thing is your salvation only love itself or oh, how beautiful so yes your twin flame is not your source do not look at them for love that love blooming in your heart right the love in your heart is the source the divine love divine love is there all around the universe you can just claim it and that is the source. Let that divine love bring your masculine to you. You stay grounded and, you know, grounded and at the core of your heart, you stay grounded in divine love. Stay there and let the universe bring your masculine from his false identity to the divine masculine let the universe bring the divine masculine version of this man to you let love do the work for you relax and let love do the work for you let go of your control and finally non-duality that is of course the divine masculine and divine feminine coming into oneness the duality has to end that is the card is saying let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine you can become fluent at doing both so here feminines are uh, making sure that your inner self and your physical self are in alignment so that your inner duality ends when your inner duality ends what happens is that the duality between the masculine and the feminine also will end and natural union will happen. You don't have to do anything. You just have to align to your physical self and your inner self. So how do you do this? Aligning to your physical self and your inner self. You feel relaxed when you are interacting or doing work or you feel relaxed in your heart you feel relaxed as a being you feel happy doing joyful things taking care of your health a lot of self-care not an external self-care but you really feel that okay I'm taken care of and I feel good you feeling good is a big factor in this so for personal readings do contact an ascension coach thank you so much have a wonderful day